Top 10 Stones with Natural Geometric Shapes When most people think of gemstones, they picture brilliance, sparkle, and color. But behind that sparkle lies a different kind of beauty, created not in fire but in geometry. Today's episode explores the top 10 naturally occurring geometric stones, combining mineralogy, physics, history, and artistry. These stones are more than just a specimen. They are sculptures carved from the earth, shaped over millennia, with atomic level logic. Remember to press and hold the like button, leave a comment, and hit subscribe before we begin. Ranked 10th, Calcite. Natural rhombohedrons. Calcite is one of the most underestimated minerals in the gem and mineral world, yet it holds extraordinary secrets of geometry and light. With its natural rhombohedral crystal formation, calcite stands out not for sparkle, but for structure offering some of the most striking geometric shapes in nature. Double refraction is one of its most unique features, seen in transparent varieties like Iceland Spar, where incoming light is split into two distinct rays. This creates a visible double image effect, an optical phenomenon that once helped early scientists understand the nature of light itself. Despite its relatively soft nature, ranking only 3 out of 10 on the Mohs scale, calcite's high reactivity to acid producing characteristic effervescence, makes it not just beautiful, but valuable. This unique property serves as a practical diagnostic tool for geologists in the field. Historically, calcite shaped civilizations. It was carved into alabaster lamps in ancient Egypt and used in Roman architecture as a travertine. Its beauty was functional long before modern lighting or construction materials were invented. Today, calcite appears in everyday products from toothpaste and paint to optical components, and even plays a role in metaphysical wellness, where it's believed to enhance clarity and remove energetic blockages. While it lacks the brilliance of a diamond or the fire of opal, calcite teaches us something more profound, that actual value can lie in clarity, responsiveness, and the quiet intelligence of form. It's a stone that doesn't just reflect light, it invites you to see differently. Ranked ninth. Magnetite, magnetic octahedron. Magnetite is one of the few naturally occurring magnetic minerals on Earth, attracting more than just metal. Formed in striking octahedral crystals, magnetite combines perfect geometry with magnetic force, making it both a visual wonder and a physical phenomenon. Traditionally, lodestone, naturally magnetic magnetite, was used as the earliest compass, guiding ancient navigators long before magnetism was understood. But the story goes deeper. Scientists have found trace amounts of magnetite in the brains of birds, whales, and even humans, suggesting it may play a subtle role in biological navigation. Perfect octahedral crystals of magnetite are rare and prized by collectors. Smaller specimens, one to two inches, typically cost $40 to $150, while larger or pristine specimens can cost hundreds. Significant sources include Bulgaria, South Africa, and New York. In addition to its magnetic attraction, magnetite may have shaped life itself. Its nanoparticles can be arranged in chains, structures that some theorists believe played a role in the origin of biological order. Its presence in Martian meteorites only deepens the mystery, positioning magnetite as a possible link between the planets. With a density of 5.2 grams per cubic centimeter, magnetite feels solid in the hand. In metaphysical circles, it is revered as a grounding stone of polarity and balance. Despite its lack of sparkle, magnetite speaks to something deeper, a quiet but powerful dialogue between geometry and gravity, between the material and the invisible. Its metaphysical properties believed to enhance balance and polarity add an intriguing layer to its already fascinating nature. Ranked eighth, apophyllite, pyramids in glass-like blocks, at first glance, apophyllite looks like frozen light. Its icy transparency, mirror-like luster, and perfect geometric form make it feel more like a sacred object than a mineral. Crystallizing in sharp, square-based pyramids and blocky, glass-like prisms, apophyllite combines architectural symmetry and delicate brilliance in a way few stones can. Its name, derived from the Greek meaning to flake off, refers to its tendency to shed thin layers a poetic nod to its association with clarity, release, and inner stillness. What sets apophyllite apart isn't just its form, 
and how it interacts with light. Its surfaces reflect with a vitreous to pearly luster, and its interior seems to glow softly, often producing faint rainbows when held to the light, like a whispered thought suspended in crystal. Most fine specimens come from the Deccan Traps of India, forming alongside zeolite minerals in stunning clusters. Due to its low hardness, 4.5 to 5 on the Mohs scale, and natural cleavage, pristine, undamaged pyramid-tipped crystals are rare and highly valued. A high-quality specimen measuring 3 to 5 inches across can range from $80 to $300, with larger museum pieces exceeding $1,000. In metaphysical circles, apophyllite is considered a stone of spiritual clarity and meditative stillness, believed to enhance intuition and promote calm. But even outside of spiritual practice, this crystal has a silent power. It doesn't shout for attention. It invites quiet reflection. Holding apophyllite is like carrying a temple of light in your palm, a moment of stillness suspended in perfect form. More than a mineral, it is geometry with soul a reminder that silence too can shine. Ranked seventh, beryl, emerald, aquamarine, elegant hexagons. Beryl is a gemstone defined by elegance and structure, crystallizing in striking hexagonal prisms that rise like pillars of natural geometry. Both emerald and aquamarine belong to this mineral family, sharing the same six-sided form while offering contrasting personalities. Emerald infused with chromium or Vanadium is deep, vivid, and often carries natural fractures, each imperfection a trace of its turbulent formation. Aquamarine, colored by iron, is more apparent and cooler and forms longer, more transparent crystals, sometimes reaching over 12 inches. What makes beryl unique isn't just its color and flawless geometric structure. The hexagon is nature's most stable shape, and in beryl it appears with mechanical precision. Yet it was born from heat, pressure, and time deep beneath the Earth's crust. Collectors value these crystals for both their color and their architecture. High-quality aquamarine specimens from Brazil or Pakistan, four to six inches, typically range from $200 to $1,000 plus, while top-grade emeralds are far more rare and expensive. Historically, beryl has symbolized clarity, foresight, and strength. The Romans carved it into lenses and mystics used it for scrying. Aquamarine is linked to calm communication today, while emerald represents love, wisdom, and renewal. But beyond symbolism, beryl holds a quiet power, a crystal that balances logic with beauty, strength with serenity. Ranked 6. Galena. Metallic Cubes of Symmetry. Galena is one of nature's purest expressions of symmetry. While many crystals twist and fracture, Galena chooses order forming near-perfect metallic cubes that seem more engineered than grown. With its sharply defined edges and mirror-like faces, Galena belongs to the isometric crystal system, producing precise forms that could be mistaken for sculpted metal. But this isn't industry, it's geology at its most elegant. Galena's dense, remarkably so, with a specific gravity of around 7.5 grams per cubic centimeter, a modest two-inch cube can weigh close to half a pound. That's because galena is composed of lead sulfide, giving it a cold, heavy, almost magnetic presence in the hand. Galena has served humanity for centuries as the primary lead ore, shaping ancient plumbing, early electronics, and ammunition. Yet beyond its industrial history lies a quieter truth. Galena is a mineral of visual order that offers balance and structure in a chaotic world. Collectors value undamaged cubes, especially those from Missouri, Illinois, and Bulgaria, where they form an elegant stack or rest against contrasting matrices like white calcite. Specimens range from $50 to over $1,000, depending on form and brilliance. In metaphysical practice, the galena is considered a stone of grounding and inner truth. Its weight symbolizes wisdom that cannot be shaken. Even for those who don't embrace crystal energy, Galena's effect is unmistakable. It centers you. It steadies your eye. It reflects the world precisely as it is. In a gemstone world filled with sparkle and flash, Galena reminds us that sometimes true beauty lies in weight, silence, and perfect symmetry. Ranked fifth, spinel, natural octahedrons like diamond. 
Spinel is one of nature's most elegant imposters and one of gemology's greatest rediscoveries. Often crystallizing in natural octahedrons, eight sharply defined triangular faces, Spinel shares the same geometry as uncut diamonds. These flawless, mirror-symmetrical forms were so convincing that for centuries, Spinel was mistaken for ruby or diamond in royal treasuries. The most iconic example is the Black Prince's ruby in the British crown jewels, which isn't a ruby at all. It's a red spinel that fooled kings and historians alike. But spinel is no longer content with being a substitute. With a hardness of 8 on the Mohs scale, a specific gravity between 3.5 and 4.1 grams per cubic centimeter, and a naturally vibrant range of colors, spinel has claimed its place as a gem of identity, not imitation. It forms primarily in marble-rich environments in Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Vietnam, where collectors search for sharp, unbroken crystals, some needing no cutting or polishing to show their brilliance. What makes a spinel unique beyond form is its color integrity. Most high-quality spinel is untreated, showcasing bold reds, blues, lavenders, and steely grays straight from the earth. Prices range from $50 for modest but sharp crystals to $5,000 plus for rare, gem-grade specimens. In the world of metaphysical practice, spinel represents resilience, clarity, and inner strength. A fitting symbol for a gem that stood quietly in the shadow of others, only to emerge as a masterpiece in its own right. Ranked fourth, quartz, the classic hexagonal crystal. Naturally formed in hexagonal prisms, quartz crystals grow like six-sided towers of light, each face smooth, each point sharp, each angle reflecting the silent intelligence of nature's design. The hexagon, seen in snowflakes and honeycombs, is the most efficient and stable shape known to nature, and quartz embodies it perfectly. Found in ancient amulets, temple carvings, and even at the core of our modern electronics, quartz has touched nearly every human civilization. It is more than just a crystal. It is a universal constant, a resonant thread that binds together mythology, science, and time. Technologically, quartz is piezoelectric, converting pressure into energy and back again. That same vibrational reliability powers our watches, computers, and communication systems. But beyond science, quartz carries undeniable symbolism. It reflects, amplifies, and aligns. Clear quartz is just the beginning. All varieties from amethyst and lemon to smoky and rose quartz share a hexagonal architecture, adapting color and energy while maintaining the same internal shape. High quality quartz points, especially those from Brazil, Madagascar, or Arkansas, are prized for their clarity, structure, and natural finish. Specimens four to six inches long can cost $40 to $200, while impressive clusters or cathedral shapes can cost more than $1,000. In metaphysical practice, quartz is known as a master healer, a stone of clarity and intention. But even without the mysticism, holding a quartz crystal is like having a moment of balance, a message in mineral form. It's not as rare as it is shared. It is popular because it is fundamental. Quartz exists not just in the earth. It is the earth's way of speaking. Ranked third, fluorite, colorful cubes and octahedrons. Fluorite is a crystal that walks the fine line between science and magic. Formed naturally as perfect cubes and octahedrons, it exhibits some of the most precise geometry in the mineral world. Edges as sharp as blades, facets as smooth as glass, and angles that seem too perfect to be natural. Yet fluorite is entirely a product of the earth. No cutting, no shaping, just raw crystalline logic. What makes fluorite even more captivating is its color. No other mineral offers a rich and saturated spectrum, from deep purples and electric blues to grassy greens, honey yellows, and even wholly transparent forms. Many specimens exhibit color zones, bands of many shades stacked on top of each other like a geological rainbow. Under ultraviolet light, fluoride often fluoresces with a mysterious glow, a characteristic so defining that the word fluorescence is named after the stone. Despite its industrial importance, used in steelmaking, optics, and chemical processes, fluorite is revered by collectors for its aesthetic balance of symmetry and vibrancy.
High-quality cubes or octahedrons from localities such as China, Illinois, and England can cost anywhere from $40 to over $500, depending on clarity, color, and shape. In metaphysical practices, fluorite is considered a mind stone, promoting clarity, concentration, and mental organization. The shape of fluorite evokes order, while its color evokes wonder. It is a stone of contradictions, mathematical yet mystical, solid yet brilliant. Fluorite reminds us that logic can be beautiful, and perfection does not have to be simple. Simply put, it is the prism of the Earth's imagination. Ranked second, Garnet Dodecahedrons of Ancient Geometry. Garnet is a crystal that doesn't beg for attention. It deserves it. In its natural state, garnet typically forms as a near-perfect dodecahedron, a 12-sided polyhedron so precise and balanced that ancient philosophers like Plato believed it represented the universe's structure. These shapes aren't just beautiful. They're cosmically symbolic, echoing through sacred geometry, classical architecture, and now the structure of a single mineral. Garnet grows not for decoration, but through discipline and pressure. It survives extreme heat and tectonic forces in high-temperature metamorphic rocks, yet emerges with stunning geometric symmetry. With a Mohs hardness of 6.5 to 7.5 and a density of around 3.5 to 4.3 grams per cubic centimeter, garnet physically and symbolically holds its shape. While most people associate garnet with deep red, its color palette is vast, from fiery orange spessartine to bright green savorite and even color-changing pyrope. But no matter the hue, its inner order remains bold, precise, and unapologetic. Well-formed garnets with clean dodecahedrons from sources like Austria, Sri Lanka, or Idaho are highly prized, with prices ranging from $30 to over $500, depending on the crystal's size, clarity, and integrity. In a world obsessed with polish and illusion, garnet reminds us of the quiet power of structure. It is more than just a gemstone. It is the geometry of the earth, solidified under pressure and delivered with purpose. In first place, pyrite natural perfection. Pyrite tops this list not because it's rare or expensive, but because it represents something almost no other mineral can pure natural perfection in geometric form. Often called fool's gold for its brassy metallic sheen, pyrite is anything but foolish. It crystallizes into extremely sharp, perfectly symmetrical cubes, so perfect they look machine cut, but they form entirely within the earth, untouched by human hands. These cubic structures, born from an isometric crystal system, often appear as intricate, interlocking clusters that resemble metal sculptures created by a symmetry-obsessed artist. With a Mohs hardness of 6 to 6.5 and a density that makes even a tiny 2-inch cube weigh surprisingly little, more than 8 ounces, pyrite is as solid as it looks. Its chemical simplicity belies its architectural brilliance. Where other stones sparkle with color, fire, or transparency, pyrite captivates simply by its structure. This mineral doesn't seek to impress, it demands respect. In the metaphysical world, it's considered a stone of logic, stability, and protection. And it's easy to see why. Holding a cube of pyrite is like having a physical embodiment of order and confidence. It's more than just a crystal, it's a statement. Pyrite happens when the earth expresses its precision, creating a shape so precise it leaves both scientists and artists speechless. That's why it's number one. Not because it tries its best, but because it's inherently perfect. Geometry in minerals is not random. It's a universal language. These stones, formed by time, pressure, and atomic order, remind us that nature doesn't just create beauty, it designs it. Whether you're a collector, a designer, a geologist, or a curious observer, these crystals are more than just aesthetics. They offer a glimpse into how the universe came to be. And perhaps that's why geometric stones hold such deep appeal. They're not just beautiful. They're truths made plain. Let us know which one you like best in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.